boy was like, you're pretty much a white girl. And I was like, no, the hell I'm not. But what am I supposed to do when he's six foot three, 200 pounds, tatted like a Chipotle bag, and athletic? What can I do? Just got a citation. I was like, yeah, I don't do no 50-50 nothing. And he was like, of course not, you're a princess. Good morning, first day of school. I just got ready. It is 7 a.m. About to leave for right now. 7.46 and I have 15 minute drive to school, so. If you're really struggling with something or whatever your issue is, I'll, it'll be in the syllabus here. I'm not gonna read it all. Okay, so I just got out of my first class of the summer semester. I'm taking DCOM 1. DCOM is the last class that I needed to officially finish my first year as an architecture student. Summer is cool, but I also had to take three other classes, which was biology and then psychology. I'm so excited for the psychology class. They're both online. It should be easy. The DCOM class I just got out of was fairly simple. For the spring semester in Studio 2, I did my entire drawings digitally, so which means I've already made a model. I have to take the class, even though I know all the basics now because I taught myself. But yeah, the DCOM class, cake, simple. We're not even doing like our own designs, which is perfect. Like I don't even have to think about what I'm actually doing. We're modeling a already done model just to like get the basics done. It's not gonna be hard whatsoever. I feel like this summer semester is gonna be straight A's. If it's not A's, I'm gonna be very disappointed in myself. I'm just uh, worried about the fall semester because I have four classes and I believe they're all in person. <laughs> So I don't know how I'm gonna juggle that. And I literally go to class Monday through Friday. Like, you know what? I'm I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to get done as soon as I can get done. It's only 10.23. I feel like I've been awake forever. Feels like the day has been going on for like ever. And it's only 10 o'clock. Professor is chill. I love when my, my first class, the professor is chill. Cause I'm always late to my first class. Even in high school, I used to not even like get ready. I didn't do makeup, no hair, no nothing. Straight up, put on an outfit and I would still be late to school. I will show you guys the outfit when I get home. Home. It's from my last video for my Shein haul. I'm gonna stop yapping. Okay, here's my fit. The shirt from Shein. This skirt I thrifted. It low key like doesn't go together, but it kind of does. I just kind of eats. This is how I went today to school. You know what actually like really sucks? I bought these nails because they're super cute. But if you look at my nails, they're like really, really long already. I want something cool on my nails, but nail techs cost so much money. And I don't want to do my nails. Like I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Like that's not a real problem. I actually have nice nails. Oh, boo hoo, girl. Let's do a quick unboxing because I'm an influencer. Let me set up the tripod. You can hear my sound machine in the back. Disregard, just enjoy the relaxing sounds of rain and uh, white noise. So I got another package. It's from, I don't remember. Let's open and see. It's a collaboration I'm doing on TikTok. Wait girl, what's going on? I thought I got a pink one. I guess she didn't send the pink one. Oh! How gorgeous! Oh, it's like an actually a corset. Oh, <gasps> tea! What? Oh, oh, it's snagging. This has been snagging on everything all day, bro. Driving me low key insane. Like, you can see the little danglies, but wow! Look at the little cuffs. Ah! Y'all, I have got to try this on, my boy. I'm not gonna lie. She gagged. She gagged me. But guess what? That's what, babe. Oh my god, gagged me. T, T, T. Like, look. Like, look at this. You bring the corsets, we bring the inches. Like, hello? Do you understand this is a small? And I was struggling to get in this bitch. And this is a small. And also, you think I'm a small waist with a big chunky arms? Hello? Daddy! Sorry. <laughs> oh, I need the bee's knees. Ooh, tell her what you did, big daddy. Damn her. Waist on thinner, ayy. But the arms is on gigantic. This almost serves so much cunt. Ah! Okay. She get money. Her body tea. Ah! Like they would have ate the house down. Like rock my socks off. If this would fit. Um, can we have a tea moment though? I know I said last video, I'm not gonna talk to him again, but he keeps texting me. I'm just a girl, okay? But here's tea. I guess he has multiple fans on Instagram, right? I didn't know people actually even use Instagram notes. This boy be using them. Tell me why. I look at it and it said, I could care less if you don't text me back. You crazy fool. I'm thick.
Okay, yeah, first of all, two options and they're both gonna make me crash out. One, it can't be me that he's talking about. So it must be another bitch. Second of all, if he's talking about me, who are you talking to? Crazy fool is crazy. First of all, I'm a lady. Second of all, what is this attitude? Third of all, fix the anger. It's either about me or it isn't. And either way, it's a bad look. Pretend this is me, the Hello Kitty bad bitch, and then I'm the man. Oh, dropped it. Oh, shit. Oh shit, let's off. Oh, I dropped it again. She's giving me another dropped it. Fuck. The thing is, though, is he posted that and then literally like 20 minutes later, he triple texted me. Hello. I can't keep doing this. Like, now he's asking me, what are you doing? Where's the Hello Kitty girl again? There's always, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Maybe start saying, how can I help you? <laughs> but this corset's cute. It gave me little panties. Who's wearing these, girl? In 2024, arts and crafts, little string piece of paper panties, please. Free me. I'm gonna go make my TikTok now. All right, I just woke up. Good morning. It is 7.09 a.m. Tuesday, club is going up on a Tuesday, isn't it? I'm just gonna do a get ready with me and talk to you about what's been going on the past few days because I have been a little bit outside. Not wild or nothing. I didn't go on a date, but I did go out with the guy. I didn't consider it a date because I wasn't even gonna set myself up for failure. Like, there's this guy, he's pretty cute. He's very athletic, he's very muscular, and he's tall, y'all. He's like six foot three. Yeah. Like a T. I honestly don't know where I met this boy from he just popped up in my instagram and was like what's your number then we started texting and then he facetimed me he was like show me what you look like without makeup facetime me right now and i was like no <laughs> and he was like what do you mean no we started talking two minutes ago like what be quiet please so eventually i just ended up sending him a picture he was like you look so good you're so beautiful and i was like thank you of course so we make plans i, I wasn't really expecting any sort of date or whatever just based off of what the man looked like how he act i was like hmm this ain't really no husband in the first place i wasn't really even like setting myself up to really give a fuck i was really just like hanging out because he looked good sometimes like not everything has to be a date sometimes a man look good and you just want to see him right right <laughs> he asked me to go bowling every black man always want to go bowling like what is that about He's like okay we can actually go wherever you want to go and i'm like i know that's right <laughs> we can sit and listen to music in the car or whatever because i do like to do that he was facing timing me like off and on because he was like oh i'm getting a car today what first of all why are you getting a car today i didn't ask that many questions because i didn't care <laughs> the car was out my way where i live and he gets here a little bit earlier than i thought he was going to because he didn't give me a full rundown of the plan the correct fucking way like he should have so i didn't know exactly when he was coming and so he gets here and i'm still like 10 15 minutes out from doing my makeup and he's like i gotta pee so bad don't be rushing me because I'm not gonna move any faster. But like, he ends up going to go pee at a gas station because I was not letting him in here for real. And he's like, are you hungry? And I'm like, yeah. We end up going to some wing place. So we sat at the bar and they were like, oh yeah, the kitchen is closed. I'm like, bro, it was literally nine o'clock. Like, what is the kitchen closed for in this college town? Let's be serious. Like, let's get down to business. So then we have to leave. This boy talking about some. Can we please go to Twin Peaks? Can we please go to Twin Peaks? I'm like, boy, what the f fuck are you trying to go to Twin Peaks with me for? You're gonna piss me off already. But it's not that deep to me, so I'm like, this is not my man. I don't really care. I already know he'll be acting a fool. He's gonna piss me off and I'm gonna say something about it. Mind you, mind you, this man, very hood man. At some point, I was thinking, how did I even get myself over here? <laughs> my Caucasian county ass. Like, what am I even doing over here for real? What am I even doing over here for real? We get Twin Peaks. And it's raining, mind you, like pouring down raining. When you just straighten your hair and immediately go outside and it's like humid as fuck, it starts smelling like fucking flat iron. <laughs> we in Twin Peaks, bitches is naked. I don't even know why he set himself up like that. Like, why would I not watch your eyes like a hawk? Now you off the roster for real, like a certified bop. Like, so I already knew he was gonna be looking. He was, I said something about it. And then he was like, you see how I stopped after you said something? I was like, I don't give a fuck. He was looking in the first place, which is crazy to me. This man, he's like, why are you sitting so far from me? He grabs the freaking chair and pulls me all the way over to him. And I'm literally just looking at him like, Hell no. 
That's how I was looking for real. You was not finna sweet talk me and finesse me like you was not over here staring at Twin Peaks girls asses. Like, I'm not worried about you. And I already told him that because I was like, you, you annoying for that. But whatever, I'm here to have a good time. I'm here to get my drink. I'm here to get my food and have a fun time because that's exactly what I did. He bought me a margarita and I had a chicken Caesar salad. It was yummy and I was eating some of his fries because he had wings and fries and it was busting. It really was. But he was trying to flirt with me the whole time and I was just like, mm, you're not gonna get me. Like, like, I feel like you can flirt without trying to be like, yeah, I'm gonna date you and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't even wanna hear all that. You think I wanna hear that? But I don't wanna hear that because I think you're a liar in the first place. Like, wrap that up. Like, stop saying that shit to me because Amaya doesn't care. We're talking about stuff and obviously his life is very different from mine. This boy was like, you're pretty much a white girl. And I was like, no, the hell I'm not. Every time he would tell me anything about his life, I would actually feel bad for him. Hood dudes always be having some sad ass story low key. He telling me he been to jail multiple times. I'm like, boy, that's not cute. And he's like, I know. I'm like, well, why are you sitting up here showing me videos of you on a high speed chase? He got arrested in a county I grew up, beating in a white ass county. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? Like, are you insane? Like, are you actually crazy? I love going out with guys when I actually don't have like no intentions of dating them or taking them serious for real. Because I be doing whatever, I be saying whatever, my attitude be whatever, and I be chilling. And then I don't be afraid to ask for stuff or make sure that they paying. Cause I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I don't have to see you again, boy. So. If you acting like you want to see me again, you need to make something shake and give me what I want so you can see me again. If not, wrap this up, boy. But this man, he pays for everything. That's why I was like, wait. But just the shit he was telling me, I was like, ooh, pop. He's like, oh, so is this going to be considered our first date? I was like, do you see where we fucking are right now? We are literally at Twin Peaks. This is not no damn date, boy. Have you actually lost your mind? Who do you think I am? Fast forward to the next day, right? He FaceTimes me in the middle of the day and he at work. I'm like, boy, why are you calling me while you're at work? Like, what's that about? He was like, I want to see you again. <laughs> He was like, no, I just really like your vibe. Like, usually when girls be around me, I be ready for them to leave. But you, I wasn't ready for you to leave. He was like, my mama would love you. And I'm looking like, who the fuck are you saying this to me for? Boy, I don't care. What am I supposed to do with this information? And so he's like, when I get off work, I want to see you. Look at his Instagram. He went to a Sexy Red concert. And I was like, this is why you can't be my husband. <laughs> you like thoughts. If you love thoughts, you don't love me. If he was like, you good for me. I'm like, of course. I am. <laughs> and he was on the phone talking about some. Yeah, we gonna spice you up. I'm like, the fuck? And he talking about some. I'm gonna get you some Hoochie Mama outfits. And I'm not gonna wear no Hoochie Mama outfits. So you gonna need to find somebody else because I'm a proper, distinguished little lady. I'm gonna be late AF. I'm not trying to do nothing serious anyway because he used to too many ghetto things. And I'm not a Hoochie Mama. I'm not ghetto at all. Like, at all. And he pretty bad. He showed me his gun too. Why was it pink? It was black and pink. I was like, yo gun pink? I don't think he knew what that meant because he was lucky looking at me like I was crazy. I was like, okay, boy. I was like, yeah, I don't do no 50-50 nothing. And he was like, of course not, you're a princess. I didn't pay for nothing. I know that's right. My ex could never. Um, I need to shut the fuck up. I literally need to be at school in eight minutes and it's gonna take me 20 minutes to drive there. This is what I'm wearing. No, I'm not wearing a bra. And these shorts is real tiny. I don't care. I only have one class in general. And I'm the hood princess. Please, my dad's gonna beat my ass. Daddy, I'm just playing. In the back of my mind. I'm gonna now. Hey, just got a citation. Because I forgot that uh, you have to get a permit every semester. I've been parking the same parking that I've parked in all year. I can't even park in this deck anymore. Dude, I'm pissed. And the deck is so close to my class. Now the parking deck that I have to be at is like 10 minute walk. Ah! It's so ridiculous. Like, I don't get it. All right, hey girls. I told you guys about that guy, the hood man. I was up at 6 a.m. trying to do a get ready with me and fucking talk about my fucking day. Going off of like four hours of sleep, dude. I don't know how interesting that part was, but I feel like I have no business being over there in the first place. Like, what are you doing with that man? How did you get over there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I got there. And it, it's just two different worlds. Of course, uh, he keeps calling me white girl. First of all, 
blasphemy. Like, I'm not white. You know, he's real ghetto. I didn't really tell the full story of what happened that day. <laughs> it was crazy. I was telling my friend this story. She was like, bitch, this all happened in one night. And I was like, yes. <laughs> the whole night, I was like, damn, how I get here? It was fun, but it's definitely a funny story because I'm like, what were you doing in the first place? You had no business being there. <laughs> There's a reason why he said he's only fucked with medium ghetto to ghetto girls. He said he never met nobody like me. That's my sign to wrap it up. I think I might. Y'all, he's a whole foot taller than me. And get this, get this. Check this out. A hundred pounds more than me. Like, listen, listen, listen. I know I had no business being over there. But what am I supposed to do when he's six foot three, 200 pounds, tatted like a Chipotle bag, and athletic? What can I do? Really? At the end of the day, I'm truly just a girl, you know, and um, I'm gonna make mistakes and I'm gonna love who I'm gonna love. Aww. And I don't know. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm gonna be a hood princess. I'm just kidding. I guess I'm just gonna have like segments where just going on dates because I keep going on dates because like now that I've broken the seal I'm not scared to go on them anymore. I guess we're just gonna have some date chronicles, date diary, dating diaries. Is Amaya gonna keep talking to this hood man or is she going to start talking to the retired hood man? We have no idea. The truth will come out in next Saturday's YouTube video. <laughs> I look like this because I'm about to sit on the porch, but I literally was about to block this man. But I was like, I, I, I started fucking tripping. I'm tripping right now. I already know I'm fucking tripping. So I'm like, I'll exit the premises, right? Right. Because if you was trying to be a thought, why do you want a girl that's tripping? So I'm leaving. But yeah, I think that's probably going to be the end of it because I think I am probably never going to talk to him again after this because I was like, you're not going to be seeing me again. But now he's trying to go back and forth like, you don't need to see me again in the first place, boy. It's 95 degrees. I ain't got no need. Make sure you give a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all Saturday. Bye. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mwah.